Hey everybody, Patrick Shea again from the uh, Applied Products Plumbing team and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the uh, evolution of digital mixing valve and the success that we've been seeing with the Powers Junior valve. But I figured I'd start with what is a mixing valve? Well, simply put, a mixing valve is a device that blends cold and hot water in a mariner where you're getting a desired output temperature. Now the measure of a mixing valve is how well it blends the water and uh, maintains the output set point uh, over time and that has to work with both low flow, medium flow, and high flow because you will see different stages of operations through the course of the day on any mixing valve. Traditionally where we've had uh, mixing valves in buildings uh, they have been used on thermostatic type mixing valves. If you've ever operated a single lever shower valve, you've manipulated the mixing valve. Two different types of mixing valves out on the market. One is a pressure balance valve where you're uh, working off the pressure of the hot and cold side of the valve. The other is a thermostatic mixing valve. What we're going to be talking about today are master mixing valves for commercial buildings which are always thermostatic for the most part until digital came on the market about five or six years ago. When you look at a 1017 master mixing valve, you may have one in your house. If you have a tankless or a combi, you may have something like this that is blending that water down. But digital mixing valves are being used in larger scale units, uh, whether it's a school, an office building, hospital, and these are rated up to 20 gallons a minute, up to hundreds of gallons a minute. For the most part, what we're seeing in our sizing now are uh, buildings that are coming in with a demand between 30 and 50 gallons a minute. It'll beat it up a little bit and then you have additional um, maintenance down the road. Where the Powers mixing valve has really found a lot of success is on the budgetary side, Junior now comes in a little bit above a single valve high low, but it's going to be less than your traditional uh, dual high low with a PRV certainly. The great thing about the uh, digital mixing valve is the wetted components are very limited. You know, operationally we have a outlet temperature sensor which is wetted and then we have a three-way stainless steel ball valve inside. The actuator that operates and positions that valve is outside the wetted components and then the control panel obviously is uh, is away so you're not having any interaction with water on the control so we can program the control panel to operate a very fast reacting electronic actuator to position a ball valve that's going to really control the uh, outlet set point temperature. A true digital mixing valve has been proven to hold the uh, outlet set point temperature within two degrees of its set point. And when you look at the performance of thermostatic mixing valves over the years, the ASSE 1017 standard calls for no more than seven degrees off the set point. The dangerous part of it is if you're in a building and you've got a research pump that's bringing the water back and there's nobody in the building and you're you know constantly just moving the water out, particularly at night where there's low, low demand in the building, you're going to send out 120, it's going to come back at 110, and you're always going to be adding a little bit. So if you're bringing 140 and you start at 110 coming back, keep adding a little bit more, a little bit more pretty soon, you're at 120, 125, 130, and you can over three, four hours get to where you're sending out 140 degrees to the building, which can be dangerous. Digital makes and valves uh, do a great job of uh, eliminating that threat to the building. Engineer loves it because it works. Contractor, when we really get them is when we do the setup. Because typically if you're doing a thermostatic valve, you'd have to open up some fixtures, fiddle with the, uh, the temperature adjustment knob, go out, test it, come back, keep running back and forth till you got it where you want it. All we need to do is go in and unlock it. And since it's a 1017 valve, 1017 is the default. Go into setup system we select the valve size this is a one inch so it's already done we go to the set point put it wherever we want if i want 120 going out i just get it close dial it in hit it 
It's set up for its differentials already. We can adjust it, but typically we don't because those are you know nice differentials and protections for the building. Go to home and then I wait. Now there's no water coming through here, so I won't see that. But typically in a couple of minutes, you'd see the uh, the valve move and get to its set point temperature, and you're all done. And then for the facilities, if they want, they can wire a BMS connection to the to the valve and then they've got the reporting and the uh, control on it. Or they could just download the app and get all the reporting and monitoring and alerts from the valve wirelessly. Lastly, for the facilities, since we don't have all the wetted components that you see in a traditional thermostatic valve, they're not going to be doing the yearly or twice a year rebuilds or cleaning of the valve so that it's now their standard. One of the things that we're running into uh, and it's good that we have it is the power selects it tool because what we're finding is as we're getting calls to replace uh, valves that are already installed we're able to reach out to the facilities get some fixture counts get them a report from powers that will give them their peak demand and in many instances we're moving from a an existing two inch valve down to a one inch valve it's going to one less cost for the building to better performance on the valve because it's properly sized. To end up here, if anybody has any questions on this valve and its performance and how well we're doing with it, feel free to reach out to Mark Troiano because he keeps calling me. That's how good a job we're doing with this valve is when you know our distribution partners are calling us to, to help them sell it and we appreciate their efforts uh, immensely on that. Certainly feel free to reach out to anybody from the APP team on this valve. It is a rock star and uh, we expect nothing but big things going forward.